like pronounce itself on a few issues that cannot go unnoticed and any other issues as may arise from you, my dear colleagues, the media, and those who, you know, via media platforms. So, in the interest of time, I'll go straight away to address the issues that we thought that were important for us to have a say. Number one, the nation is aware that uh, only a few days ago, the opposition led by the Patriot Front came up with what they are calling United Kwacha Alliance. The opposition came up with what they are calling United Kwacha Alliance, which is an alliance, as we have been told as citizens, that is meant to amalgamate the opposition together <coughs> to face the UPND alliance in the 2026 20, general elections. We would like to place on record as government that we welcome the formation of the United Kwacha Alliance. This is a living testament that the democratic space in this country, Zambia, is ever widening. The creation of this United Future Alliance is an indictment that the citizens of this country are fully enjoying their freedoms, particularly the freedom and right to freedom of association. We therefore want to take this opportunity to indicate that government will not stand on the way of the United Quarter Alliance in its formation and registration processes. For as long as they meet the legal requirements of the land, we as government <coughs> have no interest whatsoever to halt the progress of the U UKA in their tracks. So they can go ahead to register their party and the party in government has no interest whatsoever other than appreciating that the democratic <clears throat> space in this country is widening. We are also happy to note that this particular political party alliance comes in at a time when the same people who are forming this party have been alleging shrinking democratic space in this country. And quite contrary, their own actions <coughs> have shown that the democratic space in this country is expanding because actions speak louder than words. We we'll recall that 